Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In the last video, we had completed the, our app functionality and changing the name. Most of the stuff functionality has been done. Now, in this video, we are going to focus on releasing the app on the Play Store. To release the app on the Play Store, we have two things. The first thing is that is generating an app bundle, and another thing is that once the bundle has been generated. Uh, publishing the app on the play store so we're gonna have a uh, two videos on this the first video in this video so we are going to focus on how to generate an app bundle of this okay once we generate the app bundle in the next video we're gonna see that how to release this app on the play store also one thing quick i'm just letting you know that so generate the screenshot and mockups i'm using studio.app.mockup you guys can also check it out and have a look to make the your dollar to make the uh, you know publishing the app development faster so what we're gonna do we're gonna search on the browser react native publish app play store publish to play store once you search open the first link publishing to google play store react native after that what you have to do the first thing which we have to do that is called generating a my upload key store file so if you're in windows machine what you have to do like if you have already my upload dot key store file so you can move you can like skip this part like at like five minutes part which I'm going to talk about. So first, what you have to do, you have to generate a my upload key store file. To generate the my upload key store file, you have to open your terminal in Windows machine, and after that, you have to copy this command. And once you copy this command, just run it, run this. Once you hit this command, it will ask you some certain questions like what is your first name, last name, and country code, and many more with state name, city name. There's all the things which is going to ask. You have to just provide it, and also remember the password it will also ask you some password once you're done with this you will find a my upload key store file inside this route c program files java jdk version bin inside the bin you will find a my upload dot key store file okay now let's talk about the mac os system if you guys are doing in the mac os so what you are doing if you're not so for the mac you have to copy this command okay once you copy this command open your terminal okay and paste this command once you, once you paste this you will get a one route so you have to copy this path after that open your find and press this command okay and open this directory once you open this directory uh, okay let me open this directory as you can see that i had already generated my upload dot keys my upload dash key dot store file if you don't have a my upload dot key store file what you have to do you have to copy this command okay navigate to drag by using this eh? okay so what you have to do you have to navigate to the your jdk directory okay so here what you have to do here here you have to open your terminal okay inside this new terminal okay you have to open your terminal and after that you have to copy this command and run this command once you run this command again it's going to ask you the same stuff which i mentioned for the windows like name city, first name last name city state once you're done with that you will you will get a one this my upload dot key store file all right once we get the my upload dot key dot key store file the next thing which we have to start doing that that is called placing the myupload.keystore file and under the android slash app directory so let me copy this android slash app direct file and let's go to the here and let's go to the android app and here we have to paste this myupload.keystore file as you can see that i had paste inside the android slash app slash myupload.keystore file once you've done with this the next thing which we have to do we have to add this in one this this all the keys and value inside the android class greater dot property so copy this and let's go to the android slash greater dot property so you can see the greater dot properties is there and here we're gonna paste this all the values let me copy it again and here i'm gonna paste it out so my key the password is what the password while generating the my upload keys to file you have define a password so let me define that password one two three my bad one two three four five six i had defined this password to remember this but make sure you also define a secure password that's you remember it as well once you're done with this what the next thing which you have to do add sign in config to your app creators config so this is the sign in config which we have to add inside the android slash app class build dot gradle so let's go to there android app build dot gradle and here you can see a uh, android directory android sign in config inside this on sign in config we have to add uh, this release block of code so let me copy this release block of code and here after the sign in config i have to add it here all right after this you have to also update this inside the release section build types we have release section and instead of having a debug we're gonna update with the release so let me update by pasting it here 
release once we're done with this we are done with the setup we are done with this stuff and now we can generate a uh, you know we can generate a dot aab file to generate the aab file we have to copy this command but before that we're gonna do some changes as well the next thing which we're gonna like if you wanted to generate the version code if you wanted to make the version code too you can change that version code as well and after that let's go to the here where is that android and build.gradle here we have a build.gradle and i think gradle properties so inside this gradle properties i'm gonna make new architecture enable as a true okay i have as enables true and use android x true looks good to me everything and there's one more thing which uh, placed it mentioned that to compress the file size what we have to do uh, yeah we have to make the this enable provide is a true so it will generate a provide tools can slightly because reduce the size of apk so let's go to the android slash app to build or griddle android app build or griddle and here we're gonna search for this one yeah false enable pro guard in release build we have to make it true so it will reduce the apk file size the file which gonna generate after this we're gonna just copy this command the command they have mentioned that let me copy this yeah this is the command which we have to run copy this command and here let me stop my terminal all right and here i'm gonna just uh, run this command to generate the aab file so it will gonna took like maybe two minutes four minutes five minutes that totally up to depend upon the your you know app complexity and app size so it will run this all the commands and maybe you get some error like as you can see i got some error that is called uh, you know some cool stuff error i got it so you have to fix that error so let me fix that uh, this, all the errors which i got uh, actually i got some error to how i fix that error basically uh, to fix that error what i make as you know that initially i make this you know inside this build.gradle let me show you let me close all the files and here we are having android and here we are having a app and here we are having a build.gradle so initially i it make it as a true so whenever i was making it a true it was causing the error so i just make it false enable pro guard in release builds and after that inside this gradle dot properties i also make it false and after this if i run this command let me copy this command again on the browser so this is the command npx react native so let me copy this command and if i run this so it will execute it successfully as you can see that the build file has been successfully created and now we can find inside the android app and build and there we are having outputs and inside this bundle we can find the release aab file all right now the next thing is that people also ask me how we can generate the dot apk file to generate the apk file what we have to do we have to run this command okay so let me copy this command and first of all we have to go inside the android directory cd android and here we have to paste this command that is called dot slash gradle assemble release so it will make up an aap apk file and this is the command which you can run it so let me make it zoom so you guys can also copy and paste it paste it so you have to go inside the android directory and after that you have to type dot slash gradle at assemble release it will create it will run this command and create a dot apk file all right so yeah this this is how you can make you can make a dot aab file or dot apk file to release on the play store so in the next video we are going to uh, release this app on the play store along with the dot aab file so yeah this is how you can make a dot aab file and dot apk and also please make sure to visit zero degree coder dot in if you have any question please let me know you can also check out the cool and awesome courses like building music player applications and so on so yeah that's all in this video guys thank you bye